Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alexandre Chautan. I am head of the Digital Legal Deposit Department at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, or BNF, the French National Library. I am going to talk to you about the French Web Archive. First, I'll talk to you about the features of our collection, then access for general public, for general readers, after that, access for specific research projects. And finally, international collaboration. Legal deposit was established in the French law in 1537 by the King Francis I. Uh, at the time, it was only for books. In the following centuries, other document types were included in the scope of the legal deposit. Prints, maps, musical scores, and so on. In 2006, the websites were included too. The law of 2006 entrusted the BNF with this mission. The BNF have to harvest all the French websites once a year and doesn't have obligation to get any permission from the producers of the websites. The French websites are not only the ones with the top-level domain .fr, but also websites in .com, .org, .eu, .net, and so on, whose producer is a resident of France. The legal deposit mission is shared between the National Audiovisual Institute, or INA, for radio and television websites, and the BNF for all the other French websites. The collection consists of both yearly domain crawls of the French web and focused crawls of websites selected by librarians. The data has now reached 1,200 terabytes. Annually, the growth of our data is about 160 terabytes. We have web pages from 1996 to the present day. The BNF launch, launched is its first experimental web crawlings in 2000. Since 2004, BNF performed broad crawls of the French web. The historical collection for the period between 1996 and 2000 has been purchased from the Internet Archive. In 2010, uh, BNF, the BNF set up its present software architecture of crawling, based on NetArchive Suite. BNF's web archiving team made a special effort to crawl some specific contents. It's about video content, particularly complex to harvest in the recent years, it is also about social networks. We harvest Twitter and Facebook accounts since 2010 and work with a particular attention since 2018 on the harvesting of Twitter hashtags related to the news events. Since 2012, we harvest national and local newspapers in PDF format. At the moment, we harvest 45 titles of newspapers. In the framework of its focused crawls, the BNF performs also project crawls about French and international events. For example, electoral campaigns since 2002 including European elections, Olympic and Paralympic Games, celebrations such as First World War Centenary, and we collect also websites related to events 
such as terrorist attacks in 2015 and the COVID-19 outbreak in 2020. Since January, we select websites and Twitter hashtags related to the COVID-19 outbreak in France. Despite the difficult conditions, we have the participation of curators from several collection departments of the BNF and from 15 regional libraries in partnership with the BNF. 2,700 URL are harvested by our daily, weekly, and monthly crawls. Websites are about both scientific and societal points of view uh, and cover origins of the virus and the spread of the infection as well as the containment measures, the excessive workloads of the health services, or even containment diaries written by authors or by individuals. Let's move on to uh, looking at the access services. Access to web archive is for all accredited readers. Of course, foreign, rece foreign researchers are welcome. You can only access the collection on site and not via the web due to the French copyright law. Our access interface is based on the OpenWebAC software. Searching is by URL. There is full text searching, but only for a small amount of the collection yet. Well, what I have said to you about access services is that you can usually enjoy at the BNF, but at the moment, unfortunately, our premises are closed until further notice due to the COVID-19 outbreak. A remote access to French web archive is set up in 20 regional libraries in partnership with the BNF. But sadly, these remote accesses are also closed at the moment. We give access to some data, for example, URL lists from our focused trolls are in open data on the platform api.bnf.fr. The datasets contain more than 10,000 URL from the focused trolls made by the BNF from 2011 to 2019. So we've looked at general access services. Now we will have a look at access for specific research projects. The general access services are suitable for looking at past web pages as a document, but not for a large scale analysis. So we offer, we offer a specific service for researchers who wish to use our collection for their work. We have to make agreements with research institutions to allow metadata or data extraction, or full text searches on some parts of the collection. Partner institutions may not share the data with anybody. Finally, I want to briefly present some research projects we were involved in. First, a project in sociology with the cartography of the websites about the First World War in collaboration with the engineering school Telecom Paritech with extraction of metadata from the web archive. And now a project about linguistic analysis with Neonote, a project about evolution of the use of neologisms in the French press websites in partnership with universities Paris 13 and Strasbourg. In this project, full text indexation and selective extraction of occurrences of words were a central issue. So we have covered now the access for specific research projects. And lastly, 
I'm going to tell you a little bit about international cooperation. The BNF is a founding member of the IIPC and is involved in the consortium's works since 2003. The BNF is also involved in several communities focused on software and collaborates in the developments of the NetArchive Suite of NetArchive Suite and Atrix. The BNF participates, participates in the RISO network and follows with great interest the works carried out in this framework. And of course, we take part in the beautiful WorkNet project and will welcome researchers in this framework as soon as the BNF will have been reopened. So we have looked at some features of French Web Archive. Let me hand you over to Keith Teselski for the following presentation. And thank you very much for your, for your attention.